Hey, this is Ivan. And if you think you are smart, and if you think you are a pedicab driver, and if you think that you are still not convinced about the seminar, I want to bring some of my friends here. <laughs> and these are pretty cool people. Let's hear what they're going to say about attending seminars. Uh, and let's let's start with this with they they actually are doing this right from a seminar about your potential about growing how many times you can grow three times ten times five times fifty times your potential and these are very very cool people now these are guys from totally different industry they are in the industry of men dating women kind of coaches you know these are the founders so these guys have hundreds of thousands of subscribers they have millions of followers in all the social media so so i think their opinion is valuable <laughs> but especially one of them the youngest guy his name is julian listen to what he will say if you think you are smart if you think you have figured this out already he has a pretty good question so i don't want to I don't want this question to come from my mouth. Just listen to what uh, Tyler, Junior, uh, Julian and uh, Madison, these are the three guys and in the next segment they have a pretty good question for you. What's up? It's Owen, Julian and Madison uh, kicking it here at the Grant Cardone 10X Growth Conference. And what we're going to be doing right now is talking about the importance of ongoing self-education. and. The reason why was because I was shocked that when in our Instagram stories, we're showing that we're here as students, or when I meet people outside and they're seeing here, us here as students, they were surprised that as teachers, we would ever be students. So the purpose of this video is to talk about ongoing self-education, not thinking that you already fucking get it and continuing to expand your mind. It's crazy, you know, we're posting these stories, we're like, you know, hey, Grant Cardone, 10X motherfucker, 10X your dick, 10X everything. <laughs> All the messages are, you're there, are, are you, you're not speaking, you're there to watch, and I'm like, of course we're there to watch, you know, ongoing education. It's so easy to fall into that trap, as you said, that we I get it. I already get it. Yeah, I already get it, and you close yourself off to new knowledge and new ways to expand. It's crazy to see people just getting closed off and closed off, being very stubborn too in terms of investing in themselves. Um, one uh, message I actually got was some guy was like, you know what, now that I see you going to these events, I regret not selling my PlayStation 4 to attend Transformation Mastery Live. And I'm like, why are you keeping a PlayStation 4? You know, what's the return on that? Nothing. Attend an event, invest in yourself, you know? Yeah, better uh, yet, why the fuck do you not have the cash to attend a cheap event and, and, and need a, to sell your PlayStation 4? You gotta be ahead of the problem, not scrambling at the last minute. The bigger issue to me even is that people are fucking idiots. They think they're gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. They're gonna, they're gonna be the isolated island and make it on their own. Michael Jordan has like 10, 12 coaches, but you don't have any coaches. You must be better than Michael Jordan, man. Right, you're better than all those guys out ongoing coaching, because you're the shit. And people prioritize pumping their fucking ego yeah. and feeling like they get it over actually producing results and getting it. Yeah, it's like realize how fucking stupid you are. And, and it sounds harsh, you're like, I'm not stupid, but no, if you realize this, you will grow massively. Like, you are stupid. stupid. You're a human, you're stupid by definition. Especially you. No, I'm kidding. I'm dumber than anyone, and that's why I'm here. You know, we think that we're gonna figure it out all on your own. If you didn't at this point in your life, what makes you think you will in the future? If you were smart enough to figure it out on your own, you'd have figured it out. So stop being so stubborn. Realize, oh my god, I am too dumb to figure it out on my own. This little brain is too stupid to get me to that next level. Let's look for help. Let's seek help. And uh, also, yeah, the importance of being willing to give, you know, say, invest in yourself, whether it's give energy, money, to receive is so key. You know, we're taught to conserve money, conserve resources, thinking that that is how you grow. But no, guess what? Those are resources. They're meant to be used. You know, all I'm thinking when I'm making money is more to spend, more to spend in order to receive, make more, spend more, and that is how you fucking grow. Yeah, yeah that's the idea of like value units, right? If you don't even want to put value 
value units into yourself, your education, your health, your knowledge, your environment. How do you expect to get it back? It's virtually impossible. One of the things I, I didn't even know I was gonna come to this, but I was like, let me come and let me bring all my assistants. I flew in Dan from Shanghai. Motherfucking Shanghai. I'm like, what are you doing? Get here. And he came. To the James from Toronto. Because I want to have guys around me that are also investing into me. I invest into them and they invest into me. And we keep that investment cycle going. If you have clients, you have customers, you want them to invest into you, well, what are you investing into them? It's a, it's a habit, it's a cycle of education and learning, not just for yourself, but learning how to serve others. And I didn't really even know how to serve my clients or portray my ideas to clients until I learned that. I had to be taught and I thought I was so smart, but as Julian Owner saying, sometimes we're so dumb, right? Never assume you're so smart. And also, when you take the initiative, right, to move forward and learn something and, and, and pursue education, you're also putting a big signal out to the universe saying, I'm willing to now have success. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to move forward because I'm humbling myself. I'm humbling myself to say I don't know it all. I'm humbling myself to say I want to learn. So universe, whatever you have for me, dollar, value units, connections, friends, relationships, lessons of even failure, bring it my way. Give me the money. If you look at the average of the five people you hang out with the most, you know, you might have some cool friends, some people are like successful and you're moving up, but aim bigger. You know, and that's like one of the huge messages. Um,